Close your eyes and watch your breath. Settle in with the breath so it's comfortable all the way in, all the way out. You can adjust it as you like, make it longer, shorter, deeper, more shallow, heavier, lighter. It's like building a home for yourself. If you decide the living room is too small, you can expand it. If the ceiling is too low, you can make it higher. You can put cushions on the floor, or you can put chairs and tables and put cushions on those to make it a comfortable place to be and turn on the heat. Because at a time like this, even in Southern California, where it's really nice to have a warm place to come inside, it's the same with the mind. The mind needs a nice warm place to stay, a place where it feels at ease. It's not constantly being bombarded by sight, sound, smells, taste, tactile sensations, demands being made on it. The only demand right now is trying to figure out how it's a good way to settle in and feel really good right here, right now, and feel really secure here. Lay claim to this territory, this part of the body that you experience from within, the mind as you experience it from within. It's basically your territory. Nobody else can invade it, but you allow other things to come in and get you all riled up. It's like leaving the windows and doors to your house open, even though you do have some shelter. The, the wind can still come in, the rain can still come in. The time is when you have to close things off. It doesn't mean you don't know what's going on outside. You've got windows, there's glass in the windows, you can look outside. But you don't have to let the moods of people around you in. But we do so much of this, especially now with the internet. Moods from people all over the world can now invade us, and we go looking for them. It's like we open the windows and doors and say, come in, come in. My mother found me one time, I, was, I guess it was three or four, during the summer. I was opening the screens to the window and I said, come in flies, come in flies, come in see mommy. <laughs> it took me a long time to live that one down. <laughs> but this is the way we are. We just let these things in, invite them in. So now is the time to say, nope, we're going to close the windows, close the doors. We know what's going outside, we can see, but we're not going to let it in. We've got our own sense of well-being inside, and we want to protect that. So create the sense of being at home inside. For all too many people, they don't feel at home at all, inside at all. The breath is uncomfortable, the body is uncomfortable, they don't know what to do with it. And so they keep coming in and going out, coming in and going out. But when you learn how to adjust things inside, you find that it really is a comfortable place to stay. It becomes, as the Buddha says, your Vihara Dhamma, the home for the mind, the dwelling for the mind. And that way you don't have to be exposed to all the things going on outside. You don't have to let them in. You can deal with them, but you don't let them invade your territory. That's the way you can live in this world and not have to suffer from it live in the world with a sense of ease.